Hey guys, Perth Fenzer. Right, in this video today, I want to discuss to with you guys how do you carry your power cord or your cordage. So please stick around and we'll see you, in the, see you soon. See you in a bit. Right, thank you for coming back. Right, how do you carry your cordage? You carry your cordage like this, where it's all scrunkled up. So it spends 20 minutes, 20, between 20 to 25 minutes unraveling it. Because this here, I've just done just for show. I don't carry my cordage like this. I don't like to. I carry sometimes my cordage like this. Sometimes I carry my cordage like this. Sometimes I carry my cordage on a spool, and now I've just knocked out on the floor. <laughs> and I do carry some bracelets. Right, this one made one made for me, so yeah. So how do you carry your cordage? I'm tr I'm thinking about making one of these for my emergency cordage. Maybe. 50 feet or 100 feet long but I'm still working on it so yeah so if you carry it like this how would you untangle it and if you need it that quickly will you be able to untangle it that quick because as you can see it's just going to get now now as you can see it's getting knotted up all right it's not as bad as it should be as you can see there you go but yeah, that's that one there. That one there, yes, I do carry um, survival bracelets, power cord bracelets. I don't wear them. I just have them in my. I just have them on my rucksack. As I said, I am designing. Well, I'm thinking about putting one together to go in my rucksack, but quite big. So stick around and check that out soon. If you can. But most of the time, I like to carry my cordage like this, on a spool. If I'm not using it, I like to carry it on a spool. Because to me, personally, you unclip it. You unclip it, you unravel it quite quick. And it's easy to put back on if you need to. And you don't have to unravel this all the way. You can just take so much off what you need, do it, tie, and then it's still on the spool. This is the one I use it all the time, as you can see. So yeah, just tell me a thing. Tell me what you carry it on. Do you carry it like that, or do you carry it like this, where you just have to untwist the knot, and then you've got your power cord ready. I guess when here was one of my old ridge lines. And I mean one of my old ones. I mean it's one of my old ones. It's not as long as. It should um, for my new tart, but it fits my old tart. So yeah, it is quick and easy to put away. Yes, it takes up less space. Yes, I do. I can admit the spool does take up a lot of room, but I find it easier to get things off what you need. Yes, I know I need to go and get. I probably have to go out and get some more power cord, but I don't because I've got quite a bit of it still. So. I'm gonna leave it there, guys, because this is just a random. This is just random ways of I think carrying cordage. This is to type to review how you carry it, but these are the three basic ways I normally carry it. I do carry it a different way as well, as you can see there. Well, you can just go find it now. Oh, this is my new ridge line. You can just pull and then unravel. I'll show you how I do that later on, if you like, but that's how quick it is. Done. So, yeah. Right, as I said, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.